personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to get my thoughts on the other big fight this past weekend because I was so caught up with Tank and Ryan and covering that fight and running around and going to the press conference, the weigh-in, the fight, the post-fight press conference, post-fight reactions. It was, a, it was a busy, busy week, but I had, a lot, I, I had a lot of fun. It was a great joy, and I can honestly say, like I said in my last video, I, found, I feel like I got my PhD in covering boxing this weekend. But, um, you know, Joe Cordina versus Shafkat Rachmanov. This is a fight that I was extremely excited about. I didn't have the honor to watch it live because I was too, I was busy get a, you know at the arena with Ryan and Tank and getting ready for that. But um, I just had a chance to watch it, and I got to say, man, first and foremost... I got to tip my cap to both men, both fighters. They both went out there and fought their hearts out. Tru truthfully, it was the best fight of the weekend. It was better than Tank vs. Ryan. It was better than anything else i seen this weekend so or heard of. So with that being said, uh, I think both men deserve a lot of credit because this was a big fight. This was what they call in boxing a consolidation clash, meaning that there had been things to dispute who was the real champion of a certain sanctioning body, this time being the IBF. You know, Cordina was champion and he became champion when he knocked out Kanichi Ogawa in devastating fashion, but then was stripped because, you know, he couldn't make the mandatory defense against Rachmanov in a certain amount of time due to a hand injury. Rachmanov fought for the vacant belt against Zelfa Barrett in a very entertaining fight. Rachmanov won the vacant belt against Zelfa Barrett, but they were basically fighting to see who was the real IBF champion. And the result of the fight was uh joe cordina he he he, he wins the decision he wins the decision against rockmanoff and and i gotta say man joe cordina showed to me the whole two bag in this fight i mean rockmanoff was rockmanoff he was a tough come forward straight line fighter aggressive southpaw power punching you know not, not not like a he's not a one punch guy but a guy that can grind you down and and, and slowly but methodically break you down right he was that in this fight and he he looked great at times, you know, he had Cordina hurt in the, uh, once in the middle rounds. But, you know, I saw a lot from Cordina, man. I saw Cordina dig into his toolbox a little bit for this fight. I saw him, you know, use the amateur pedigree to box this man from the outside. I saw him counter punch in the back foot off the ropes. I saw him counter punch on the front foot in the pocket. I saw him dig to the body. I saw him uh, uh, throwing different types of setups. I mean, he got a knockdown. Uh, he got a knockdown early in the fight throwing the... The inverted 2-1, the reverse 2-1, which is uh, the, the, the reverse 1-2, I should say. So the 1-2, obviously, you know, if you're, if you're orthodox, is the left hand, you know, the left jab, straight right hand. Well, he threw the, um, he threw like the, it was it was a straight right hand, and then it was a jab. And the jab actually wound up uh, knocking Rockman off, off balance and got him a knockdown. So a lot, a lot, a lot of fighters can't do that, and, and, he, and he showed that he could do that very, very well. So I saw a very, very well-rounded, versatile fighter in Cordina. And uh, he, he's gone out there and proven that he is the real champion. And, and Rachmanov had his uh, 15 minutes of fame. But you know what? Shout out to Rachmanov. Rachmanov still made history. He was the first champion uh, from the country of Tajikistan. So it's, it's not a small accomplishment. You know, he, he will always be referred to as that uh, when you talk about, you know, boxing in that country and, and, and who was the first to do it. So shout out to him. But uh, Cordino, I think, is in a great position because 130 is becoming an increasingly interesting weight class. I mean, there's a lot of great fights out there for him. Um, you know, when, when you talk about the landscape of 130, uh, Cordina is now the IBF champion again, the two time IBF champion. Um, but you got guys like you know, uh, Hector Luis Garcia who's holding the WBA belt, you got Oshaki Foster, and you got Emeo Navarrete. Now, I think Cordina would be very capable of beating all those guys. Um, you know, whether or not he fights any one of those guys anytime soon, that remains to be seen, but. If looking at the rankings about maybe who who we might, might be fighting next, you know, um, there's not really a whole lot of good uh, like like I'm a mouth watering names in the IBF. I mean, it's 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 pretty it's a pretty uh, bleak outlook if you're looking for who who we might fight in the IBF. So who know who knows? Maybe you could fight Chris Colbert, who's 13. That'd be an interesting fight. Um, but if I had it my way, I'd like to see uh, Cordina fight. Uh, Otar Aranosian, who's ranked in the number two in the WBA, who's a really good come forward fighter, 
uh, much more educated than a Rachmanov. I think has more pedigree than a Rachmanov. I think I think that'd be an amazing fight, but that's probably unlikely as well. So it is what it is. But all in all, a beautiful. I mean, when I say beautiful, a great performance from Joe Cordina. Um, the well, the Welsh fans were insane. You know, see, hearing that atmosphere just through, 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 the, through the TV screen and my computer, it's making me really want to go to Wales for a fight. So. For any of the Welsh out there, if you want to see your boy BT coming to Wales, let me know in the comments down below. Because I want to, I want to get out there. I want, I want to get out there. That, that atmosphere looked absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, you know, good, good for Cordina. He's showing a lot in, the, in, in his career. He's show, he's come a long way, Cordina. Like I remember early on when I made my prospect review video about him, he had a very amateur style, and it was kind of annoying to watch at times. But he's he's improved massively under the watch for Lyle Tony Sims. Um, He's shown punching power. He's shown counter punching. He's shown everything: grit, determination, durability. He's shown me every, t you know, in his career thus far, he's shown me just about every attribute that I could possibly think of to to look at him as a guy that could go on and become the best 130 pounder in the world. And, and right now, as far as I'm concerned, if we're talking about pure skills, to me, when it comes to the British fighters, the the, the, the UK fighters, he's he's top five pound for pound uh, British boxers, no doubt about it. So shout out to Joe Cordina. Now. Switching gears because I did want to talk about a little bit more than just Joe Cordina. There's two other fights I want to talk about, so, you know, let's talk about it. You had, uh, now, I never made a video about this fight, but I was aware of it. You had Croatia's very own, the savage, Alan Babich. You know, he was, he was taking on, um, he was taking on Lucas, uh, Rosansky for the WBC Bridgeweight title. Now, this was only, I believe, the second Bridge Away title fight in history. The last one was uh, Oscar Rivas versus Ryan Rosicki. We've been waiting to see the Bridge Away division get active again. And um, that being said, uh, it wasn't much of a, of a fight. You know, Alan Babbage got absolutely pummeled. You know, he got he got absolutely, I, I got to say it, man, I know. But yeah, like, uh, like I was saying, Alan Babbage got absolutely exposed. It's exposed badly. You know, this is a guy that... Uh, he built a little cult following um, in the UK for basically his personality. He had an alter ego called the Savage. It was quite entertaining, you know. He had, he he gave a lot of great sound bites, talking shit about Philip Hergovich's fellow countryman that he wanted to fight. And I always said if they fought, it would have been like brutal for him. And this kind of shows you like I don't want to do triangle theories, but you know he wouldn't have done. He wouldn't have had a snowball's chance to hell against Hergovich. So. I don't wish bad on the guy. You know, he, he's an entertaining personality for boxing. I, ho I hope um, he comes back better. I hope, he, I hope he uses his motivation to improve. But he's, let's just be real, let's call a spade a spade. He's always kind of been like a, a club fighter, so to speak, uh, as far as his talent, skills, and abilities are concerned. So uh, that's what it is there. So, yeah, shout out to the Savage. Shout out to Lucas Rosansky. You know, Poland. Poland, you got a new champion. You know, uh, Polish fighters. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't, I don't even think there's any other Polish fighters who are world champions right now. So right now, he's Poland's only world champion. So Poland, make sure you get behind your guy, uh, Lucas Wozanski, because he, he did a straight demolition job on the Savage. So uh, yeah, that's what it is there. And then to close, out, to close out the video, I'll talk about another fight that I talked about earlier in the week. But um, Elijah Pierce versus Tremaine Williams. That was taking place down there at the Mohegan Sun. In Connecticut, it was an interesting fight because Tremaine Williams hadn't really been in a notable fight since he he got absolutely plastered by Angelo Leo and lost the world and uh, lost his his bid to become world champion. He won a little stability fight. He was taking and he was taking on Elijah Pierce, a guy that has developed quite the reputation in boxing as a big power puncher and uh, a durable guy and things like that, and a guy that you know hadn't really been afforded the opportunity to fight in his optimal weight class, which is 122. So um, he fought him, uh, Tremaine Williams, and he beat him. He beat him in a in a in a decision, uh, you know, a close but clear decision. Uh, the scores were 96-94, 97-93, and now uh, in Pierce's favor. And you know, basically, Tremaine Williams got up to a good start, banking the early rounds. You know, we know Tremaine Williams is a good boxer. He has a long amateur pedigree, but doesn't really uh, never really had an answer for guys who had any sort of power or volume that could get to him we still have angelo leo and um we saw what pierce here pierce really didn't start get, get started you know output wise until you know the fourth round when he let his hands go so um you know he did a great job man i shout out to elijah pierce He's a good good fighter been kind of flying under the radar um this is a good win for him because trey williams is a good fighter trey williams is a known name he's a former world title challenger and i feel like 
Elijah Pierce can definitely use a fight like this and a, and a win like this to uh, build himself and, and, and do great things for himself in, in the sport. Um, with the win, he become, uh, he won like a, I think it was like a WBC regional title. So uh, that'll move him up the rankings and, and get him in position to do bigger and better things. So uh, definitely look out for Elijah Pierce. He's, he's going to be, I think, someone that, that gets on TV sooner rather than later and um, winds up fighting someone notable you know so uh we'll see how it goes but yeah that's that's my take on the other fight to happen this week this, this weekend uh let me know what you guys think about cordina rockmanoff alan babbitt's getting destroyed and uh elijah pierce versus uh Tremaine williams uh, leave your comments down below make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just kidding daniel so until next time take care guys thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.